the definition of what you need from a guy out right. of the bullpen. Yeah. Um, back up just a little bit, Garrett. Mm -hmm. Just what we needed was after the tough loss, mm -hmm. what you think is to be an untaxing bullpen night to a taxing bullpen night. Mm -hmm. So we needed Grant to get himself established into that game and with some length, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so able to get him some runs and uh, he, he battled, you know, and uh, did kind of what we needed to do in terms of getting it there. And then uh, just turn it over to Brian and uh, three innings. So um, it was good because it's uh, there's the closer's gone, you know. So it's got to be somebody, and uh, we're just trying to, you know, push and prod and kind of see where it's at and almost kind of riding the hot hand. And, you know, you could see that this wasn't a lot of matchup or anything like that. I mean, he just was in there getting after so Getting after the strike zone and doing his thing. And, Zero. <laughs> Zip. Now we had some people ready in case there were to be some something down the line, but no, zero. This composure, obviously, first batter, not a not a particularly good hitter, home run, just an obvious field, but nothing makes it. I mean, yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of guys might melt down, right? <laughs> And, you know, uh, he just keeps getting better. He's older now, you know, mm -hmm. maybe last year or what have you. But um, what, What's the biggest thing? I mean, he only gets one and two-thirds in. Yeah, I know. Just um, trust in us, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, we trust in him because of what he does. You, you saw his ability, and mm -hmm. I, I just think both him and Knippel are kind of on the come a little mm -hmm. bit, and it gives us some nice uh, left-handed deals that way. So we're going to need that. And then, uh, you know, getting a little, we're getting Tate going, too, a little bit. So uh, he could be a factor that stretch. But nice to just have a... Kind of two, three-headed left-handed monster mm -hmm. sitting out there in the field. You mentioned Seal. He didn't have his best stuff today, but they kept ending up with a guy on third base at the end of the year. Yep. He battled. Yep. And uh, to me, that's the sign of a competitive pitcher. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just the ability to go out there maybe with your B, B minus game mm -hmm. or whatever grades you want to put on it, but uh, you know, still battle and uh, keep a really good offense at bay. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, it's good to have him back, and especially when. Uh, the feelings that you get when mm -hmm. when he was out, we had to move Carmouche forward, mm -hmm. and he's kind of taken that and gone down. So we kind of got a one B in terms of a guy that's been in that Friday night deal, right, and, and done it and been able to. So Saturday gives us a little bit of good feelings that way. So he keeps coming. That's two uh, pretty good outings off of a missed start. So uh, we'll need another one like those from youngster Massey tomorrow. Glenn and Avila is the guy. Struggles with runners and scoring position position out of the equation today. Those were two. Yeah, monster. Yeah, shots <laughs> and much needed, right? Yeah. Because we just didn't have a lot going, and, and we were able to land on a couple of balls today, and that was really kind of the difference in the game. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just needed those for sure. Mm -hmm. A little frustrating. You couldn't expand. You, the reliever came in. He didn't have good numbers. So yeah, you had to sweat it out. <laughs> yeah, frustrating too. You know, I thought, to be honest with you, I thought I mismanaged the first and third Bennett Lee situation. You know, I think what I have to do sometimes is is be able to step out of how good I know he is mm -hmm. and try to maybe be a little bit more current about the situation yeah. maybe that he's in. Mm -hmm. um, and I talked to him after the game about yeah. that, you know, a, a safety there maybe is good for the team, one, uh, good for his feelings about maybe doing something productive there, two, uh, starting the darn runner, you know. Right. Um, trusting that, you know, good, bad, or different, he's going to put the ball in play and stay out of a double play and do some things like that to help him and the team. So, um, you know, I, I don't think I did a very good job managing in that situation. But, again, I'm just kind of um, – talked about it yet this morning in the cage during BP. It's like, you know, I'd give you that at bat in the bases loaded with one out 100 times out of 100, you know. So here we kind of were – not bases loaded, but mm -hmm. first and third, and here it was again, and there it was again, and so my thing was kind of like me trying to prove to him that, you know, I trust you, you're good, you know you're good, and take advantage of the situation, and uh, he, 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 don't, he'll, uh, he'll deliver more than not. He's a rock star of a kid. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, I know UCF lost and Houston losing big, so you're getting at least those games back on okay, good. those two teams. Yeah, easy is gonna win, but at least those other two teams Good. back to where it was. Yeah, started. and uh, you know, yeah. we've put ourselves in a position where you know we kind of got to win, and uh, certainly uh, 
you know, we'll take any help that we can get along the way, but we've got to kind of steer our direction down to ourselves and, and uh, find a way to win this series tomorrow.